We're going to go ahead and toss it over to meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler for another tech on the forecast. Jeremy? All right, let's take a look at it and uh, let's uh, get the forecast here for the tropics. First off, we got three tropical systems out there. And um, yeah, you know, that sounds bad. It sounds like, wow, there's a lot happening. Are we going to be affected? No, all these are going to stay at the sea. The only effect, I think, could be that uh, you know, they're sending us some waves. The, the waves have been up lately, and I think that's going to continue, especially, you know, Joyce is going to fall apart. Isaac stays way out to sea there. You know, that's going to be over the northeast Atlantic, but it's Tropical Depression 12 that's forecast to strengthen into a hurricane and maybe a major hurricane as it follows Joyce's path. Again, it's going to stay out to sea, but uh, it's, you know, again, might send us some uh, pretty sizable waves. Now, there might be some development eastern Atlantic, not concerned about that, but this is one that hasn't formed yet that has a potential to form. It's just a weak area, low pressure, but if that's it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, it could affect some areas that have been affected recently by Helene. So that's something we'll actually watch very carefully for that potential. That being the next few days, the models aren't as aggressive as Helene, but still even a weak system moving through there would be bad news. So we'll watch it carefully. All right, so with that said, let's talk, get back to home and talk about our temperature, something I haven't been able to talk about for a while. Uh, temps, you know, for a while were below average, but just a little below average. And it was very humid, but then we just had kind of a hot streak, especially Saturday. We hit 88 degrees. So now at least it won't be too hot, but I mean, temps are still, you know, close to average, mid to upper 70s uh, through pretty much the next few days. The thing is the humidity. When is that going down? That's what everybody wants to know. It'll go down later this week. We'll get back. When that dew point drops below 65, that'll be a lot better. Lately, it's been about 70 or higher for about a week, I think. And so it will get better there going into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the humidity. So we do have a stationary front there, but it's kind of sinking to the south a little bit. Remember, it's not tacked down. It's not solid, so it does drift a little and has drifted just a little bit in our favor. That's why we're going more upper 70s today than low 80s. We could see a few showers out there this morning, midday, nah, not so much, but then in the afternoon, a few scattered showers, better chance of rain tonight and tomorrow, but then Wednesday, Thursday, ah, we'll finally dry things out. So we've got some scattered showers. There's not much over northeast North Carolina right now, but over the south side, few uh, spotty showers, light showers. There's really not much here. Most of it's over Norfolk, Naval Station Norfolk, really most of Norfolk, northern Virginia Beach, a little bit around the Great Dismal Swamp and northern Suffolk. Uh, on the peninsula, there's quite a bit of rain still, but it's light from the peninsula or from Hampton, rather, Pocosin, up through York County, uh, northern Newport News, and into James City County a little bit. Uh, and then there's some more of Gloucester County, mostly around Mob Jack Bay, though, in Matthews County. Nothing on the eastern shore. So these scattered showers you see now, they're going to move out in the next couple of hours. And then, well, you know, midday, it's not looking bad. Maybe an isolated shower. But in the afternoon, we get a couple of pop-up showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm, 3 o'clock, 5 o'clock. There's not going to be too much out there, but there'll be some. It's a, a fairly decent chance of getting that rain. But then tonight, there's a good chance. 11 o'clock. Scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, and that continues into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning could be even wetter for the morning commute. And then uh, that, those showers will be around for a little while, but then I think we'll get kind of one last possible round there in the evening. It doesn't look like much, but maybe just a little bit. And then we'll dry things out after that point. So some areas could see a half inch to an inch, uh, but isolated maybe a little bit more than that. Now our temperature day in the upper 70s, mix of sun and clouds, scattered showers, northeast winds 8 to 12 miles an hour. Now. Tomorrow, temperatures will be in the 70s as well. Better shot at rain, a little more clouds. And then going into Wednesday, Thursday, we'll dry it out. Highs will be in the 70s. Looking pretty good as we go towards the weekend. Uh, we are going to warm it up again a little bit, though. Uh, Saturday, highs near 80. So, you know, we still just can't get that really nice fall weather in here to stick for a while. But maybe after this weekend, we'll see.